What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is about a little known company. Konami, Konami, Konami. What do we do to get rid of you? Konami is like an ex-girlfriend that murdered your cat, but she still thinks that you're into her or something. Konami, we don't love you. We don't want you. Get your crazy ass out of here. That's how I feel about the company. Now, a little background into the company, okay? After rising to greatness in the 80s, bringing classic games to the masses like Contra, Castlevania, Suikoden, Silent Hill, Metal Gear, Top Gun, Turtles in Time, X-Men, and many more. It seems that Konami has taken the old Nintendo attitude to a whole new level. Nintendo used to be an extremely arrogant company, and that arrogance led the company to lose third-party developer support and its sour relationships with companies in Nintendo. Konami must have been on that Nintendo for the last few years because they've, they've gone ham trying to piss off every consumer, every developer, and every classic franchise associated with them. By now, we all know the situation with Kojima. And some of you know the situation with Koji Igarashi, the creator of the classic Castlevania Symphony of the Night. We know that Konami pooped all over the lovely Silent Hills game that we were also excited about. They also trampled all over Kojima's name and refused to let the man receive an award for his baby Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. Damn! I mean, I swear this company is living in a different world. They gotta be. So this is what the crazy company is doing now. Here we are, after all this time, Konami still won't quit. Konami has decided to use the Fox engine and a handful of capable developers to continue their mission of destroying anything associated with Kojima. Konami has announced Metal Gear Solid Survive, a side story set in the Metal Gear universe and where you and up to three other players can let loose in four-player co-op action against biological hordes in an alternate dimension. The game hopes to marry co-op, stealth, and survival horror with a Metal Gear 2. And while the game may actually be fun, I don't want to support this company. Now I know that many out there will, and more than likely some of you will as well. But at this time, nothing makes me feel better than the idea of a giant pillow from God drifting down to Earth, landing in Japan, and smothering Konami headquarters. Now, I know that's rough, but honestly, this company does not respect us. It's one thing to have a vendetta with Kojima, but to hurt your actual support base is another thing. How did Konami harm us, is what you're asking? Well, it's easy. People get into arguments all the time, and I'm sure you've seen people argue and hold grudges, but ask yourself this. Why do people hate Konami? It's really simple. Konami has taken away from us, the gamers. Everything that we loved about the company has been taken from us, and it's, it's human nature to feel slighted by a situation like that. Think of the list. Silent Hills, Castlevania, any good Metal Gear helmed by the man who made it an amazing series. These are all realities that will more than likely never come to fruition, and the reason is simply because someone at the top of the infrastructure at Konami has a huge chip on their shoulder. This is the reason we don't like Konami. The fact that they mistreated Kojima and so many other developers certainly doesn't help their case, but when added to the cocktail of amazing games that we won't see due to petty actions, fuels the fire in the hearts of gamers to see the company fail. So, with that in mind, for a majority of gamers anyway, any game that Konami creates will be met immediately with swift negativity. While games like Metal Gear Survive may actually be good games, it's really hard for gamers to swallow that pill when we know that we're not respected by Konami. Now. How can this situation be fixed? Believe it or not, it's fairly easy. Konami needs to address the elephant in the room. Us. Konami needs to address the public and discuss the mistakes that they've made, as well as their plans to repair the mistakes. Konami needs to apologize for their disrespect against gamers, for killing franchises and games that their supporters were actually excited about. Konami needs to do more than just say that they're sorry. They need to actually be sorry. The ball is in the court of Konami, but it seems their plans are not changing. They seem to be going with the ignore the issue, ignore the angry customers, ignore the bachinko madness, ignore the relationship with our fans. Konami just wants to pretend that none of this has ever happened, but unfortunately for them, we can't forget. Games like Metal Gear Survive will see some mainstream success, but until the issues are addressed by Konami, games like this will certainly feel the strain and frustration of ex-Konami fans that refuse to support the company. I love to love Konami again, but like any other relationship, Konami, we need love too. 
Be sure to let me know what you think of Metal Gear Survive in the comments below. And let me know if you plan on supporting Konami in the future. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up, show support to help out the channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.